Hey guys, Lacey here. So I have something super exciting to share with you guys. So the other day I got an email from my local um, liquor store and they let me know that they were getting in stock a special item that is super limited. I mean, I'm talking 6,000 bottles. That's it. Worldwide, super limited distribution. And I was super lucky to get one. I'm so excited to show you guys this. So I have to get prepared. So let me and put on my crown because this is super special. I have my crown. I have my glass ready. You guessed it. It is the Crown Royal 29 year limited, limited edition. Yes. I am so excited about this. I'm serious, guys. There was only 6,000 bottles made, period. That is it. So um, my liquor store literally only got three bottles. Three. I was fortunate enough to get this one. And I got there early enough that I was able to buy an extra one so that I could put it away for a later date. So I decided to share it with you guys. Check out this box. Is this not pretty or what? Boom. Crown Royal, limited edition, 6,000 bottles, 29 years. 29 years this thing has been sitting in a barrel somewhere. And we are going to try it today. Boop. Boop. So just like the last 18 year one that I did, um, the box is really, really cool. It opens out like this. It's magnetic. It's really cool. And it has like a little pull out. This little thing pulls out. Check out that bag. Is that not gorgeous or what? Isn't that pretty? I love this bag. This bag is super awesome. So, just to let you know what it says on this here, because you know, old people got to put my glasses on. <laughs> Hi, guys. So, there's the front little thing. Is that not cool? I love all of the artwork on this. It says, Age to perfection, we believe a life well lived is a less about what you have and more about what you give. That's why the finer things are those we're sharing, which shouldn't that be the way it is all the time. And um, with a distinct flavor of Canadian rye greens, full flavored spice notes and underlying hints of ripe orchard fruit, toasted oak and a touch of vanilla, this exceptionally, this exceptional, sorry, I haven't even started drinking yet. This exceptional whiskey is made for those who are equally special. Wow, because I was notified. A remarkable spirit crafted with the generosity of heart, true celebration of the rare of the rare things in life. Now, I am a huge fan of bourbons and whiskeys and so forth and so on. I especially love Crown Royal. All of them except for one. I wasn't a huge fan of the one that tasted like oak. Sawdust is not my friend. So let me pull this out. Just pops right out. Boop. Again, check out this bag. Is this bag not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? I love it, love it, love it. It's gonna go in my little bag of collections. So, let's pull this. Ta da! <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> so, there's the bottle. Crown, 29 year, extra rare, extra pretty, and I'm sure extra tasty. I love the top, I love the bottle itself, it's awesome. And, I don't want to sling it down on the ground. And, we go for the big knife today. Get the plastic off, preferably without enjoying myself or the bottle. You know me, guys. <laughs> Just tell me no. I'm too rare to drink. I'm sorry. I will get this. Oh, God. The struggle is real, friends. The struggle is real. Oh, did you hear that? That 
such a sweet sound. <sighs> Canadian whiskey, my favorite. My all time favorite. This smells so good. So good. And add my little glass. See, a little crown royal glass. Must be drunk in a crown royal cup. So, let's give this a taste. I'll let you know. Look at that pretty amber. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Ooh, that's strong. It smells super sweet. I'm gonna tell you guys a little secret. It's not really a secret, it's a story. Um, my mom and dad and their and their jobs used to get their their company used to give them each a bottle of regular Crown Royal. My parents didn't really drink that much. So um, they would always just kind of put it up on the shelf. Well, a couple years ago, um, my mom had a bottle sitting on the top of her dresser and I was like, Mom are you ever going to drink this? And she's like, no. I said, can I have it? And she's like, yes. I was like, yes. So I took it and lo and behold, on the bottle itself, it had a sticker. It was like, just like a regular old timey, like price tag sticker, but it wasn't a price tag. It was the actual um, date of when they made the crown itself. And believe it or not, it was made in like, I think it was 1970, right? Yeah, there's Delacy shaking his head, yes. It was made in 1970, so that bottle was from 1970 and it had been sitting on my mom's dresser for 20 years already. So, you can imagine what that tasted like. I'm telling you people, it was candy. It tasted like candy. I sucked that bottle down so fast, my head was spinning. I was like, so sad when it was like the very last bottle and the very last drop out of that bottle. I was like, oh my God, this was the best thing I ever had. So I can only imagine what this is going to taste like after it's already been aged 29 years. So, and I already have, I've got this one open, but I have another one stashed for like 20 more years from now. So I'm going to have to be like super sparing. So it says it has like a taste of vanilla. Let's see. Um, let's see, what did it say? Fruits <laughs> and vegetables for the day. Um, it was like hints of vanilla and fruits and stuff. Let's see if we can find it. I really love this bag. This bag is so cool. Okay, so bottoms up. It smells really good. It smells super sweet. That is so good. There's a, a slight burn. I had a guy tell me once, we went to like a, a liquor demonstration. You should let it sit on the back of your tongue till you get the full flavor of everything that's there. This is amazing. Not quite the candy from the other one, but this one's really good. Um, it's really smooth. Believe it or not, though, it's not quite as smooth as the 18-year was, but it's still just delicious. I recommend it. Now, like I said, people, 6,000 bottles only. Bottles. Not, not like, you know, 6,000 for here, 6,000 for there, and they only distributed them in certain states. Lucky for me, Florida was one of them. <laughs> so, um, if you happen to come across one of these bottles. I highly recommend you buy it. You buy it and stash it. If you want to collect it, buy it and open it. If you can find two, do that. Buy one, stash it like I did. Open this one and you can savor the flavors for as long as you can. I don't recommend like, you know, super coping it, but I definitely would try it. If you can get two, like I said, stash one, try one. This one's really delicious. You can you, you get that little hint of vanilla and those little fruity flavors. I don't get the oak so much, which is good because I don't like the oak flavor and stuff. Um, sawdust is not my friend. So um, definitely, definitely. If you can hook up and find one of these, get it. It's not crazy expensive. 
I paid like three eighty per bottle um, on the on the market. Once people get a hold of these and they sell out, which they're gonna sell out super quick, these things are gonna start going for upwards of five to a thousand dollars, if not more, in the next couple of years because it is so rare. So if you can get it from a from a reputable liquor store for you know three eighty four hundred bucks, grab it. So with that being said, I'm gonna go finish this, enjoy myself. Watch a little TV. Have a good evening. You guys do the same. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. Have a good whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Remember, like and subscribe. And if you like this, send it to a friend. Let them know how fun it is. So maybe they are, you know, if you have a friend who's a big, you know, big crown fan, send it to them. Let them know. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.